All right, it's time for another math easy solution term to discuss further into integrals and average value and now look at example one of the mean value theorem for in integrals example series um, yeah in my earlier videos I went over the mean value theorem and its proofs so make sure to watch that so the example I'm gonna go, uh, the example I'm going to go over is uh, basically this one that says apply the mean value theorem for integrals to find which x values the function f of x equals 1 plus x squared have the average value across uh, yeah, the interval negative 1 to 2. Yeah, so basically just stating uh, find x values where the f of, f of those x values has uh, equals to the average value in this interval. So first of all, let's just uh, graph this one out. So if we graph this out. There's the x and y axis. So this is a parabola. This is the, I did an example actually in integrals and average value example. On this uh, I found the average value because so you could see that video in, uh, more in depth on finding the average value. Basically this parabola is going to look something like this where if you put in 0 you're going to get 1. So at the origin it's going to be height of 1. It's going to look something like like this. So just a parabola like that, and this is f of x equals 1 plus x squared. So now we want to find, the first thing we need to do is obviously find the average value. So negative 1 up to 2 right here. So this is the endpoint, negative 1 to 2. So now the mean value theorem for integrals basically states that there is, yeah, there is a number c in in basically a and b in this case it's actually going to be negative 1 to 2 such that yes yeah, such that we have f of c yeah f of c is equal to the average value f average and and that equals to well like like I showed in my earlier video on average values of a, a function it's going to equal to 1 divided by uh, b minus a of now here this can be the area of the uh, the curve from a to b so b this is going to be of f of x dx yeah where this f of average is going to equal to it's, it's considered as the height so we'll go height h average and this is going to it's pretty much saying area divided by width so it's just saying average height equals area under the curve divided by width. So that's pretty much the mean value theorem for integrals just to recap on that. So for this specific case, we have f of c equals f average equals 1 over 2, which is b, minus negative 1, which is our a. And now integral from negative 1 to 2 of now the function is going to be 1 plus x squared dx. So now if we take the integral of this and simplify this, that's going to be 1, 2 minus negative 1, that's just going to be 3. Now this one here, the integral is going to be x plus x cubed divided by 3, that's for this one, from negative 1 to 2. This equals 2, 1 over 3, plug in the 2, so we get 2 plus 2 to the power of 3 is 8, minus 3, now we have to subtract with this one inside, we put a negative 1 inside, it's going to be negative 1, and now this is going to be negative 1 cubed, that's just going to be negative 1 as well, there's a negative in there because it's an odd uh, power there. Let's put this like that. So now when we simplify this even further, we get 1 over 3, now this 2 minus negative 1, that's plus 1, so 3, now this 8 over 3 minus negative 1 over 3, that's plus 1 over 3, so we get plus 9 over 3. This equals to 3 there, so 1 over 3, 3 plus 3, which equals to 6 over 3, which equals to 2. So basically we have f of c is equal to the f average is equal to 2. This is by the mean value theorem. So now this one here, this equals to, well we know that f of x is equal to 1 plus x squared. So now we could find the, the c value, or multiple c values in this case. And I'll get to that. So we just plug this in. So we get basically 2 is equal to, 
I'll always write it neater. So f of c is equal to 2 is equal to 1 plus c squared. So now we just find solve for c where so c is equal c squared is equal to move this over. 2 minus 1 is 1. So c now is going to equal to plus or minus square root of 1. Just to square root that. Square root of 1 is just 1, so we get plus or minus 1. So when we go scroll back up to our graph, so we know that the uh, points where the average value exists is at negative 1 and 1. So this is plus 1. And this average value is across. So we can, we can uh, draw it all the way across. Let's draw it. And and of here and highlight this and yes yeah, so this is our c values negative one and one and this height is basically our f average and that equals to two so the average height is this and and this area or this rectangle which with this average height of two across this across this width is going to be e the area is going to equal to the area under this curve it's basically if you include this one all the way inside so it, pretty much you could see it visually as moving this section into this empty space where this uh, parabola goes up. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this example. And uh, I'm going to go over another example in another video. Stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, like always, you could download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.